Hey fellow YouTubers, it's me once again. As I stated in a previous video about the ASRock 890GX, uh, I've so far received one comment, and the comment was, is this, is this rig um, adequate enough, and does it perform okay? I would say, if you're not looking to OCD the system, meaning to overclock it, the North Bridge, following the graphics, following the memory, following the CPU. I would not recommend that. But if you're looking to do casual gaming and just, um, just basically use your motherboard for for whatever um, hardware you have put on it, then I would suggest go right ahead. I mean, it's a bang for the buck. Um, it supports all three technologies: USB 3.0, SATA 3.0. And hyper hyper threading 3.0. Um, it also has the Xfax USB, as well as uh, all the other technologies included along with it. Now, I told you I was gonna give you a review of the Gigabit 990FX. It's what I have with me today. I just um, went and switched motherboards at microcenter.com. Uh, I'm not gonna give the details on why, because I would like people to. Um, I would like people to find out for themselves and believe me do not place no comments do not leave me any comments as to why I, re I, why I returned it and why I replaced it I just basically replaced it because I just want to have full use full use of my 8 core bulldozer processor which basically comes out on September 19th now getting to the point I want you to look at the inboxing of the 990 GA, Gigabyte 990 FXA UD3. It comes with the manual, so you can see. Uh, comes with the bracket. You can see it right there. It had its own bracket, but I decided to take this one out because this is um this is a stock bracket for you to put your CPU cooling stock that came with the AMD processor so I just went and removed this one and I put my own um, the, besides this this came with the older rigs but I still have it around just in case but I really don't have no use for it it comes with four SATA 3 cables as you can see right here I just had I'm just using them making use of two of them as you can see right there it also comes, wow, it also comes with a NVIDIA Sly uh, Crossfire, not bad. So if any of you, if any of you is looking to use NVIDIA graphics and have a dual core graphics and then another dual core for ATI, you can also do that on this rig. Also. To the side, I bought me some extra memory because the, um, well, I don't want to, again, I don't want to get into details. But um, the other crucial memory, which is dual channels, it's um, two gigabytes a piece, making it eight gigs. Well, I decided to upgrade just a little further so I can um, add on eight gigabytes extra, making it 16 gigs. Um, I have this CPU, which is the 6-core Phenom 2 processor, Black Edition. And I got it installed for now, till I get the bulldozer. Uh, it should be coming out next month, but if next month I can't get it, which I highly doubt, um, I'll probably get it sometime in October, or sometime in, in January, excuse me, in January. Um, the 8130P is supposed to come somewhere in between January or February, so let's hope for that one. Um, I want to open up my rig right quick because I want to show you how the motherboard looks inside. It performs actually well. Got a little mess here, but bear with me, y'all. 
Okay. So you can see. Look inside. Give me just a second and get my flashlight. Zoom out just a little, cameraman. Zoom out just a little bit. Flashlight should be right here. By the way, the cameraman is actually doing a good job, by the way. <laughs> All right. Um, this is the DVD RW dual layer. I forgot to mention this in my previous review. Uh, I do encoding. I do heavy video encoding. This is my one terabyte. 3.0 GB following by the cable as you look at it it supports 3.0 this is my other hard drive which is the backup for Windows XP times 64 and the other one I use it for Windows 7 times 64 my old graphics card as you can see and this is the new Gigabyte the new Gigabyte 990 FXA UD3 so you can look at it, I have two slots vacant and two slots filled and it's four, four gigs each a piece. So I can always upgrade anytime soon making it 16 gigs. You look at the south bridge, see how nice it looks? See it? It has six SATA ports 3.0. It has dual BIOS in case it decides to roll back or to flash it. And then that's my Delta 44 sound card for my recording. Look at the North Bridge. See how nice, nice, fine piece of work. You can see the Japanese uh, solid capacitors. That'll last me about 10 years of life as far as gaming and coding and recording. Look at it right there. I just purchased this not too long ago today now I'm pretty sure y'all dying to know exactly why I returned the other previous mobiles no pun intended as rock and no pun intended again gigabyte I love gigabyte I've always liked it gigabyte um, it's just sometimes sometimes you get good ones and sometimes you get bad ones. it doesn't mean that the company itself is bad I like ASRock. I don't think there's nothing wrong with ASRock. The 890GX is great, by the way. Um, but sometimes if you fiddle with it a little too much, or you try to clock it higher than the usual, you end up with basically nothing. So that's why I'm saying that it's recommendable. I would recommend it uh, for the ones who are in a tight budget. So um, just to make the story short, if you're just a casual gamer, go right ahead and buy it. I mean, in Micro Center, um, it's $109, but I'm not sure they're still in stock. They're probably out of stock. Uh, but if you look into Newegg, Tiger Direct, CompUSA, other places, you'll probably find it. ASRock are actually good motherboards, actually. Um, but I am an enthusiast. So, of course, we all know that to have the top of the line motherboards you have to spend the extra money so I had to sacrifice my previous mini ATX because it gave up on me it was not posting it was not giving me a beep I had to sacrifice it sadly I had to sacrifice it and I had to uh, return back to ASRock for my own personal reasons I don't want to leak out that information but if y'all want to ask personal questions Feel free to inbox me in Facebook. You can look at me in Facebook by my email. I'm not going to give my email out for um, personal reasons. Um, so this is what this was actually my review for the 990FX chipset. And good luck on the next video. And I'll be reviewing the 8-core processor sometime next month.